I was taking my son to school this morning and I noticed something uh, rather nasty happening up on our driveway here and it's going on just about there I'm going to have to go in nice and close so you can see the action Warning, the warning on this spider video has been removed and this video is highly educational Definitely a video to have a coffee with I've had a bit of a look at this and uh, what I believe is going on there, and I hope I'm correct, I think that's a red-backed spider, a medium-sized female, and it looks like the black ants have got her. It's uh, right up the end of the spider season, that is amazing, those ants are moving that spider. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of curious, I wonder whether she was motioning about at night, got caught up by the ants. Or whether she's just naturally died, these spiders do have a lifespan of two to three years, the females that is. And uh, all I can see is, and what I can witness here, is the ants are having an absolute uh, delightful meal there. There's uh, what's going on there, wow, I, actually I've just seen another ant, there's another ant getting attacked, what is that? I don't know my ants very well. Um, there is another ant there, which has come in on the scene. That is crazy. Uh, that other ant has just wandered in, and the ant colony is just going full pelt at that ant. I, I don't know whether it's the same style of ant or a different ant. It's got wings. I know the ant experts are going to tell me, wow, that is, uh, that's just vicious the way they're going to that ant. They, uh, they just don't let up, they just keep coming in for the attack. It's just astonishing to witness. Astonishing. I should be looking at the redback, but that's really caught my attention. Anyway, after that uh, ant distraction, that was crazy. Uh, these black ants, I don't know what style of ant they are, um, but it looks like they're trying to pull the redback into the hole there. I don't know how that's going to work because the hole is a lot smaller than the redback. If you're wondering about that other ant that just appeared, um, there it is there. It looks like those other black ants have left it alone, but it looks uh, very sick. I dare say it has been given a fatal blow from those black ants. It's not looking well at all. It's just going around in circles. And back on Little Ant Mound here on my path. Um, yes, the red back is, um, well, being squeezed into the hole. That'd be one uh, feisty winter feed, I tell you, for the ant colony. Uh, yeah, it has me wondering what happened to this redback. Has it just had its natural life come to an end? Did it make the wrong stumblings in the early morning? And the ants have found it. This is the thing, you know, every time I, I see something like this going on uh, in real life, in a sense, and not the spider tank, I just try and capture it because I think it um, fills in some important gaps about what really goes on in the garden. Wow, look at those legs getting manipulated by the ants. That is just crazy. They'll probably pull that thing down to nothing. Well, good news, it does look like that other ant uh, that was attacked earlier is acting normally now, and off it goes. And back with the redback spider and these black ants, uh, somehow, and I don't know how, uh, the ants are moving this spider up that ant hill there. It's quite a mound. If I move my camera position, you'll get a better idea of the size of it. I'm hoping that gives you some sort of scale there. Mind you, I need my coffee cup in there as well to give you some true scale. That's better, you get a much uh, grander idea of um, how big and small things are now, don't you? Very much an exterminate sort of video. I've always um, said the ants are my friends in the garden. I'm sure they do lots of tidying up and I think, and I hope I'm correct in saying this, it would be the major predator to the redback spider in my backyard. That is the ants and any variant of them. Just from what I've been witnessing going on, Wherever there are ants set up, it tends not to be these spiders. It's been a very common thing that I could say and I could prove over and over. That's the top of the ant mound there. I've been watching this build up. They tend to make these uh, in Australia during our autumn time. Mind you, some people have that theory that ants make mounds like this before huge rains, but that's, uh, I don't think that's going to happen. And look at that there. The ants are... Um, Pulling that spider up that mound, inch, well, 
millimeter by millimeter, or nearly said inch by inch. Um, just an amazing show of uh, working together there, isn't it? Wow, if we all worked like that, wouldn't it be a much happier world? Well, we'd be ants then, wouldn't we? If we all worked like that. Nobody really works in that sort of, um, that sort of refined way. Look at that. That's just amazing. In very little time at all, I'll tell you what, those ants have pulled the redback spider to the top of the ant hill there. Now my gut feeling is they're going to pull the spider body down into the ant hill. I've, I've seen this sort of action before. Uh, I do wonder how they're going to do it. Maybe they're going to open up the hole just for a short period of time, big enough, to get the spider in there. Um, my theory is that they're going to pull it into the ant hole there. They're having a bit of a battle here. Um, the spider tends to want to fall off the top of that ant hill and they just keep pulling it over and pulling it over. It's just a incredible little thing to witness you know it's funny you could easily miss this in the backyard I always say in the backyard on the ground there's basically World War three happening every second ants are bringing things to this ant hill there's um, ants doing what ants do I think they communicate with I don't know you tell me what they communicate with I wouldn't know because I don't know about ants I know a lot about redbacks now I haven't done my ant study properly yet it's starting to look like um, a good night sister shot to me for you if you're going to ask me, wow, that spider is just getting assassinated by those ants. Whether or not the ants had done the original kill, I don't know. I didn't witness that. I would have loved to witness that because it would have uh, it would have quieted up a lot of the haters on YouTube. But I'm pretty sure the ants are one of the major, major predators and knocked back a lot of the numbers of the redback spiders in my backyard. There's a bit of a bigger picture of things there. It does look like they're gonna haul that spider into the top of the anthill there. Maybe do a little bit more sped up footage here. It might paint a bit of a picture of exactly what's going on. There's been a stack of uh, ant action. I tell you what, for a while there, it just looked like the whole thing was a mass of ants. You couldn't really see the spider. I think they've pulled off some legs. I think. And they're still working at it. Definitely a leg being taken away there, piece by piece. That red back spider is being pulled apart, dissected, and as they say, taken down into the ant nest. Amazing. I'll tell you what, the more I watch this, I, tell you, I need more and more ants in my backyard, I don't have enough. In the middle of the screen, uh, that's one of the legs there. There's a whole bunch of ants, and if I crawl across slowly, the, the rest of the body, which is being taken apart in ant fashion, is, uh, is still being worked on. Well, my query about how do you get uh, a spider which is bigger than the ant hole down the ant hole? Well, you break it up, don't you? The leg just gone down the hole there. It's just happening so fast. It is just so astonishing to witness. I cannot believe this. You know, it's funny. You can I easily have missed this this morning. It's just that I've got sp like spider eyes and I notice things. And I'm so glad I've been able to capture this. It's going to put a lot of silence across the haters of my channel on YouTube, I tell you. Seeing this, just amazing. Ants are my friends. Completely my friends. Notice there, it looks like a couple of legs actually. Um, they're down by the side. Maybe there's a couple of different entrances they're going to take components to. And up at the top there, it's the, basically like a just only faintly see the red back markings on this spider now it's the the back part whatever it's called and the I think the core body maybe even it's gone because I suddenly notice all the legs got pulled away the ants are still feverishly working away at this thing they are not stopping I tell you they don't stop until it's finished 
a bit of a wider shot there down one flank in a sense I've got the ants playing with the legs and up the top they're rolling the body over looks like they're gonna suck it into the ant hole could be the last shots we see of the body it's right over the main hole the top mind you there is a smaller hole just to the side of it up in the brickwork very close to pulling into the ant nest now very very close I well, notice the legs are coming. <laughs> well, they're going to try and rebuild it, are they? What's going on here? There's a massive amount of movement going on. There's, oh, they're making the hole bigger at the top. Wow, well, these guys are very smart, actually. I can notice they've done a great big um, amount of earthworks at the top to get this spider body in. I wouldn't believe it until I saw it with my own two eyes. I uh, just totes I'll probably use the word amazing way too much in this video and really if you haven't learned something in this video it, look I haven't got a problem I dare say possibly you've got a problem I know there'll be people flagging this video saying oh but Leo you can't show this on YouTube anymore if you haven't learned something here please please uh, adjust yourself there's actually a rogue ant it's got one of the legs and maybe it's stealing it. This is like you said, oh, this is my chicken leg. I'm going to take this uh, home and have it all to myself. A renegade. Look at that. Meanwhile, if I come down nice and slowly there, Mrs. Spider is just about being uh, tucked away into the top of the ant nest, and there's another leg coming up the side there. There's a sort of bigger picture there of what's going on. That renegade ant uh, has, has come back down to the fold. Thank goodness for that. It is just about all said and done, I'll tell you. It has taken extremely little time to, to have the ants pull us off. So efficient and fast and working and, and hard working as well. They certainly had a plan. Remember the spider was down at the bottom of the hill there, dragged it to the top, pulled it apart and piece by piece. Uh, getting into the uh, ant hill here. That's sort of looking down on top. Uh, you can hopefully see what's going on there. Very, very much uh, a good night, sister, isn't it, hey? It's just about done. I can see very little of the spider. A lot of the ant activity has died back. I can see a couple of legs flailing uh, outside the hole still. I dare say they'll get the main body down and then the legs will be last in. I can only assume all the little baby and child ants will be saying, Hey, mum, what's for dinner tonight? And mum ant will say, we're going to have redback spider legs. And the baby ant's going to say, yeah, mum. They're our favourite, they're yummy. I notice there's still an ant uh, running around with uh, a spider leg. You don't see that on YouTube every day, I can guarantee you. And it's going to, well, hopefully come back to the top of the hole and make sure it goes in with the rest of the spider. Just about done and dusted. There is a rogue leg getting about still. Um, I dare say if you live in an ant colony, it's uh, very wise to... Uh, to do as you're told and not be a renegade. I don't think ants suffer renegades that well. You'd never be invited back to the nest. I am keeping an eye on this ant here. It's got a spider leg and I think it's having thoughts of uh, running away and having that as a grand prize. It's probably thinking no one's gonna see me nick off with this one leg. There were eight others to play with for the rest of my gang, but I'm going to steal one of them. Or maybe he's going to be turned into a conformist. Yeah, he's conforming. He's an ant. I believe that's the last leg there, and I think they've been sneaking it into the hole which is on the brickwork. They sort of communicate with each other in ant fashion, because I know the audience will tell me how ants communicate. And they will pull it into the hole there. I'm sure if I leave the camera here long enough... We'll see it happen. Well, they're really smart. Just very, very smart. They say they're expert builders under they know what they're doing, these things. Designed to uh, take over the world, from what I can see. It'd be very, very wary if ants uh, got any uh, bigger in size than what we see. If we see an ant getting around which is the size of a dog, watch out. That'd be a time to leave the planet, I dare say.
Well, all I can see is I can just see the back end of the Redback Spider uh, right at the top of the mound there. Uh, that spider's gone. Ants are happy. I'm happy as well. Well, the activity is certainly quietened down now. Mrs. Redback Spider, well, as part of the ant family, will be devoured over time, I dare say. I am just astonished how fast that had happened. I could have easily missed that. In fact, it happened so fast, I didn't have time to finish my coffee. So I better finish off the video by having a bit of coffee, eh? Ah, that's much better. I've just got a few things to say up the end here and I can do some slow-mos here and go in closer so you can see the action because that ant rific action is actually quite intense and it's very fast moving in real time. This video was shot back right at the end of May. That's right on the cusp of the Australian winter. It's also the time when you'll stop seeing spiders being active. There's not much spider activity uh, during the cooler months of the year. Now this video was a very delayed upload for me because at the time when I shot this video I was having all sorts of nightmares from YouTube because of the flagging and demonetization and age restricting on so many of my videos which are like this one. As I'm editing this video it's in October so it's the start of our spider season and it also marks a year that the YouTube systems have been really hammering YouTube producers on the site. Even to this day, the vicious cycle of demonetization and stupid flagging of videos continues on, and I just don't know when it's going to stop. And what's really hurt my confidence in the site is when I do win an appeal after a video has been flagged as non-advertiser friendly, and I get monetization back, but a few weeks or maybe months later, the video gets double flagged, and this has happened way, way too often. Once a video is double flagged, basically it's goodnight sister to that video. It gets buried by the system and it basically earns zero. I'm certainly aware I'm not the only producer who has been smacked over the head way too many times, but I've got to really wonder how much longer will this go on for? Am I going to be a producer here and this is the constant cloud that's over my head? You just never know when that video that you've spent a fair bit of time producing gets knocked out of the system and I think this is very, very wrong. Maybe I could set a challenge to these YouTube code monkeys who have developed this machine learning madness. Why don't you guys try and set up a successful channel on YouTube these days and see what you're up against and take a dose of your own medicine. I'd love you guys to taste the way it is to be a producer on the site these days. Maybe you'll have your say about what I've just said at the end of the video here. What I will say at the end here is the YouTube of today is nothing like the site from say five, six years back and it's nothing like the site that I joined 12 years ago.